Hello gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> this is another uh, wind generator I purchased. Um, the standard one was okay, but the problem with it is it's so turbulent around here, it's spinning round about rather than the blades turning a lot. Now, this is a vertical type, and as you can see it's turning at a fa fairly reasonable speed. It's fairly windy, but the output from it is just dreadful. Um, it should be doing about 50-60 RPM for it to do anything. Now, we'll come into the shed, and what I've done here, I've got a shorten link on this at the moment that I'll take off, but what I have made, I've done it, I'm not using the uh, charge controller, at the moment because the charge controller to measure the voltage from this is not so good uh, what I've done is I've got short key diodes here I've got actually I've got 12 diodes of parallel two sets together just roughly and I'm feeding the DC output into a, a 15,000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor just so you can see the peaks right now it's given me a one volt DC at the moment one volt. Now we'll go back outside and we'll see how this thing's turning. Now it's slowed down. It's slowed down. I'd say the wind speed is, according to the forecast, is six to eight miles per hour today, uh, with gusts up to about twelve. Now it's as you can see, it's going slow. I can feel the wind. I can feel the wind quite. Uh, Quite round, round about me, quite uh, as if it is about six to eight miles per hour. To be fair, now it's going a little bit faster. Um, it's never really got any faster than that, even in a strong wind. It hasn't got any quicker. So um, what have we got? We've now got to three and a half volts, three point five volts on the meter. There we are, three point five five four. I have seen six. I have seen six volts with it, um, but it has actually sped up a little bit more. But outside, it was actually, <laughs> it really, really felt quite windy. And, and I would say the wind at that time was probably gusting up to about uh, 20 miles per hour. Now, my eye, my feeling is these things are, are potentially flawed. Um, obviously, when, if we go back outside, you might be able to see this. You may not. As you can see on the blades, you might be able to see. I don't know how you, if you can or not. Well, on the blades, you've got one side that has got the flutes in it, and it's and it's got the, the the open end. Of course, the other side of it is relatively aerodynamic. So, of course, what's going to happen is the wind is going to push round with that open section. Uh, but the opposite side, going the opposite way to the wind, will still have some. Uh, aerodynamic uh, braking, you know, the brake, they will still be braking even though it's aerodynamic. So the thing's never really going to speed up to full potential, whereas one with a, a proper prop will, you know, uh, because it's cutting into the wind and of course uh, you're getting more power from it. Now, this just cannot work. Um, it cannot be, be su sufficiently, eff sufficiently efficient for it to operate properly. Um, so, in my mind, these things are just a waste of time and a waste of money. Um, so, with this particular one, um, I'm trying to get uh, a refund on it uh, so far with no success. Uh, but, no, I would certainly, I would say to anybody, it's not worth the effort. It really isn't. Uh, and it's not worth throwing the money away down the drain. Uh, but as I say, um, even in a stronger wind, it, the speed in it doesn't really go. It should be turning about 50 to 60 RPM, maybe even more than that, to, to, to give uh, at least some form of charge. But this thing, if we're lucky, if this is done about 40 RPM, maybe at the most, at the very, very most, it's like turning, like, like looking at an old uh, record on a record player. Um, what's it gone up to? Well, it hasn't. It's 3.4. Yeah, but as I say, this is really the only only real way of getting a, uh, a genuine idea of the output, a DC, a DC output. Having the charge controller, uh, which is here, this is it here, this is a charge controller there. Um, th this needs to be connected up, but you have to connect this up to 12, the 12 volt battery first, uh, and then connect up the three blue wires to the three phases of, of the uh, generator, of, you know, of the alternator. So... Um, th this is probably a, a fairer test and kinder in actual fact to the manufacturer um, because it's charging this capacitor up. The capacitor will, will stay up. There's no load on it except for the meter. This is the, this is what was going to go into 
the system to, char the, to charge the battery. But as you see, the fuse is out, so there's no load on it at the moment. Uh, I was going to try it this way to see if this would work without the, the uh, charge controller, but <laughs> not ideal, obviously, uh, if it had worked. But it doesn't work, so it's not causing any harm. So, to be fair, uh, I still say, and I'll say it again, uh, tread very carefully if you're thinking about buying one of these things um, because to, to the tests I've done here it doesn't work the standard type does work um, it would be better in an environment that is less uh, built up with uh, less uh, turbulence um, but I did get output from it it did work um, at, on the odd occasion I was getting a, a good 10 amps off it so uh, yes, it can do, but not when there's a lot of houses round about, because there is here, and there's a tree around the back. But this thing is advertised that it works in turbulent conditions. So it is not to the description, it's not to the advert, and it's not to the specification that they say. Okay, thank you very much guys for looking. All the very best. Bye for now. Bye bye.